What is account abstraction? First, it's a big deal. It's a big deal because account abstraction lets you build decentralized apps without requiring your users to learn anything about crypto first. More precisely, account abstraction is a blockchain technology that lets people use smart contracts as their accounts. Often, these are called smart contract wallets. The default account for most blockchains is an externally owned account, or EOA. EOAs are what you have with MetaMask. It's just a public-private key pair and requires a user to manage a private key. But EOAs are like having root access to your money all of the time. This is really scary and puts a lot of burden on users because not only do people need to write down a seed phrase, but they need to understand the core mechanics of how blockchain transactions work just to do simple tasks safely. This is why crypto hasn't caught on. People need to learn how blockchains work to use them, so only enthusiasts can really access them. The solution is to make user accounts smart contracts. Smart contracts are just special programs that run on a blockchain, so they have a ton of flexibility and are non-custodial. Account abstraction is enabled by a new standard called ERC4337. It is a standard for how smart contracts should handle fee payment and verification logics for users by leveraging off-chain infrastructure. But let's put that aside. Unlike EOAs, account abstraction lets smart contracts handle the hard parts for users. So as a developer, you can sponsor transaction fees for users, enable security features, authenticate users with a social login, and recover accounts. Do atomic multi-operations to make anything in crypto one step. But the most exciting thing of all, account abstraction lets you build blockchain enabled apps without requiring your users to learn anything about crypto or download a wallet. And this is how your app can expand from a few million users at best to the entire world. You can learn more about account abstraction and how you can start using it today at our website, stackup.sh.